Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Rune Terror video and welcome to what will be our first official off meta Sunday where I take a variety of interesting decks, some competitive, some not as competitive to see if we can take them to ranked and have a bit of fun. But nevertheless, today on stream, we experimented with my own list, which will be a Fizz and Sejuani. Now with a grain of salt, I will like to add that some of these decks that we'll be featuring may not be competitively viable. I would not recommend these ones. However, in saying that, our Fizz and Sejuani deck actually managed to pick up six wins with only two losses on stream, so I was actually quite shocked. I had literally just thrown this deck together prior to the stream so I could have, you know, a few options of decks to play. However, Again, in saying that, let's feature the deck today, Fizz Sejuani. It's definitely not a refined list, and if it was going to be competitive, I think it needs a bit more tweaks. I hope you can enjoy the games. And as I've said before, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like. It makes a huge difference to the performance of the video. And as I've said multiple times, gives me an idea of what to do in the future. You guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for the support, and I will see you next time. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that. It's okay, that game was super fast and irrelevant. We just obliterated an aggro deck. Cheesy, six transition. Well, you know you can get them for free, right? Re Riot Games handed out a bunch of free... Uh, free streamer package. I can link you to it if you need any of this stuff. Because you can obviously pre-install it really quick and easy, but you can also um separately add and use all the assets as you please. So I'm just using the, uh, so I'm just using the transition as well as like a couple of little assets here. Other than that, pretty good package. You did not know that. I'll get the link for you. Um, Skarsik linked it. Here it is. We block. If you check out this page, you'll find what you need. Raider comes down. We'll just keep playing stuff on curve and uh, the pretty officers will be used for our units. That's fun. Hopefully we're aggressive enough so that our HP relevance isn't too diminishing and the game ends when we need to. Let's go dodge that uh, multiple one drops here. Petty Officer still gets a fair bit of work done. And I can actually chump block it with the uh, one cost ally. So what we get? Omen Hawk. We're actually in Saints game. This is a pretty obvious block. Ale. We just need one at random one cost allies. No worries, man. See what he plays here. That's actually a really insane one drop. Oh, this is really good for us. Palais gets a fair bit of value here, and you can obviously blood transfusion, but that feels kind of weak. And we're getting Sejuani buffed up pretty quickly. So now he plays maybe uh something. These three one stat lines are very relevant in terms of trading into his uh, units. Yep. 
You obviously can't completely ignore my board, right? I'm gonna get Sejuani value. That's probably irrelevant to him. I don't think that matters for his strategy. Boom crew rookie. What can I do about that? I can block it with Ruthless Raider, I guess. Regard, nothing else can be done here. He's gonna get to go wide against me and I can't do much about it. Sure. I think I block everything except for the Draven. So it looks something like this. He has no mana for transfusion. He can, yeah, sure. He can do that if he wants. Pushing one extra damage. Oh, he buffs, no, sorry, he buffed the Boom Crew Rookie to clear my unit. Fair play. We need some valuable top decks. Or we need to hit our Allegiance buff. Or we can play Sejuani. Beat him down. But we do have to be careful not to go too tall on the board right now since he's playing an aggressive deck. It's not hard for him to find, like, answers. Cool, we actually drew something, that's mental. So now I'm probably going to, since we've got a unit to play, I'm gonna warning shot this turn and play the Butcher plus Rear Guard. And that's gonna apply a ton of pressure against him, like a huge amount. He's gonna send it to the face. No worries. So he can't ignore my board completely. He will have to block with something here. And since he chose to send that get excited into my face, we have a good chance of killing him. It means he has to block with something. So he obviously will block, block with the Draven. He probably values the Boom Crew damage. Okay, we know he's in top deck mode now. And a top deck decimate won't get the job done for him. Pretty easy open attack. Ordering does not matter. <sighs> he has two more turns though, which is a bit of a bummer. That is a bit of a bummer. Now we're on the clock. What do I value here? 4-2? Shit. <laughs> Decimate. We lost that single copy of Warning Shot. Am I supposed to play Sedge Awani there? It's giving me another chance to play Sedge. I mean, ideally he has to get excited. That's a win condition for him. I could also lose to Noxie and Fervor. I think the best play I can make is to make it rain. Parley this turn. Just in case he has, finds the Noxie and Fervor. I mean, oh, sorry, if he has get excited, he's already played it. So this is the line that we take to beat Noxie and Fervor. And decimate.
We're still on ranges. Just gonna have to dodge. Can I rip anything to change the pace of this game? We got him. That was very scary. So what have you done so far today? Mm, not a lot. Plunder. So I imagine, uh, I feel unfavored, but I feel like we have Fizz as well, which can get a lot of work done. Unspoiled, shared spoils. This is obviously a bit of a testing card in terms of this archetype. Chances are we are probably going to be plundering though. I mean, open attack, cutthroat. That's one turn for Sejuani. Sejuani is pretty powerful against uh, the mid-range threats he might promote. But he usually can't deal with the, this one. This is the matchup where Fizz would have made a bit of a difference. Completely outplays, make it rain. I expect to see some barrel, hmm, weird, weird plays. Ruthless Raider, kind of outplays Make It Rain. Pretty much does outplay out Make It Rain, actually. All right, so we're obviously gonna open attack, right? We need to get that plunder value. That's crazy. Okay, there's a keg. Do I still want to play this and play into? Do I pl play into make it rain? He'll immediately make it rain here, so I can't see a point in waiting. Strange place. Summon a keg. I keep my board wide to play around make it rain a little bit. Without the fizz, this is the play. It was alright. I took my mom out for some early festives for Mother's Day and took my puppy for a walk. Nothing too crazy. That's amazing, man. It's amazing they took your mother out. That's really cool. Uh, sick play. <laughs> there goes my entire fucking board. Uh, who do I save here? Who's highest priority? Ruthless Raider? Ruthless Raider feels like probably the most important. That was actually insane TF play. Okay. Guess we're not going to get the short sp shared spoils value, but we can get the value from buffing our units. So I guess we'll just do that. We'll pass for now because he's obviously going to attack. I can actually block the TF. Obviously, I'll skip this block. Pass. We'll keep the three mana saved up. Oh, maybe I should have blocked. Okay, he's used up all his mana now. I guess I'll put a cutthroat onto the field. Makes for a better open attack. Do I play Fizz now? What happens if I play Fizz here? This allows me to play around a few cards. Hmm. No, it should just be open attack to guarantee some uh, pilf uh, pilfering value. Plunder.
Okay, so he's placed in on a few make it rains. Okay, we should be fine to play around Mecha Rain. We'll do this. Yeah, sometimes mums can be a lot, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. Only a little bit. My mum's cool though. I can't really play Fizz this turn. It'll pretty much die. Hey Tree, how's the off meta going so far? Yeah, we got slaughtered playing some uh Snapbine before. But now we're testing out some Fist Sejuani. And so far we've won a couple games. So not it's going good. I guess we can say it's going good, right? I don't know. How you going? How's uni? Okay. I can't tank six, but the plunder still goes off. So I wonder how important it is really. Yeah, I love mine to death as well. That's it, man. Uni isn't too bad. Might miss a few streams in the next week or two. Keen to go on holidays. Um, that's totally fine. Surprise, like the fact that like some of you guys have been coming in here that consistently blows my mind. Never stop the fact that you even come here at all blows my mind. Am I gonna, am I gonna feel bad if you miss a few streams? No. Would have loved to have had Fizz on the field then. <laughs> Guess I'm making kegs. Hey, hey, Manova, how you going, Rowan? Thank you for popping in today, man. How's the RuneScape grind going, buddy? Guess I'm playing Fizz. Heavy grind, man, heavy grind. <laughs> you got those boots yet? I think you're going on about getting some sort of boots with some sort of weird crafting materials. Nope. Guess I'll just make it rain. This is as much value as we get from the cake as we can. My luck is so damn low. You'll be fine. How come you're playing Fizz and Sedge together? Trying to get value from Fizz to get multiple attacks off during a turn and just be annoying for my opponent to deal with. Just experimenting with different combinations of champions. So I guess I'm just supposed to kind of play Sedge, hope for the best. Ah, uh, freeze. You're vulnerable to misfortune. Dude, I haven't played RuneScape in so long. Yeah, either I. I played it like once when I was like super young. I remember I got like baited into a forest. Some guy's like, come with me, I will help. And then he just killed me. That was my first experience playing RuneScape ever. And one of the only times I ever played it. What are you thinking about? 
So I'm pretty sure he's playing like the keg control version, right? Yodel Grifter. I usually would just bring my mains so I can kill them after reverse lure. That's pretty toxic. Okay. Cool, TF levels up. Or we should have uh, prioritized him as a target. So give us a rundown of the Fizzawani deck. Can't tell you a lot. So Sejuani is uh, the end game for this deck. I guess he's going for it. I can save it. So Sejuani is the end game for this deck, right? And basically we want to try and level her up. By doing that, we have to deal damage to the enemy's Nexus in five different rounds during the game. And then we get a pretty cool effect. We'll go into the effect later of it, but uh, Fizz, is when you talk you've probably seen Fizz before by now when I use a spell he's going to become untargetable or stop spells from targeting him first thing it does is give him elusive as well it can be a pretty obnoxious card and it can go elusive kind of sometimes allowing us to deal damage to the Nexus so Fizz isn't really the main highlight of this deck it's more like just a st strong card when it pops off but I don't do too much to like focus on it it's basically basically just there to play on turn one and generate some sort of value throughout the game in value being chances to hit the nexus if they're not playing elusive negating spells kind of becomes a threat it's a little bit of a threat cool so he's going to get the gold card here which is going to stun sedge and then he's going to get i made a mistake on the turn before where I, what i meant to do was prioritize the swiss of fate because now i'm pretty much going to lose my entire board and the game's going to be over Big misplay not uh, prioritizing Twist of Fate because now he's going to get tremendous value from it. The game's pretty much just fucking over because I'm an idiot who didn't give Grant Vulnerable to the TF. My bad. My bad, guys. That's what I get for being a fucking idiot. I don't know why I prioritize Misfortune. TF is so much more of a threat. Big fucking mistake. <laughs> so he's probably playing elusives. I honestly don't even keep any of these butchers. Stand alone. I'm actually just going to play Fizz here. I'm going to punish him as quick as I can for doing nothing. Now he says I have no mana. He can clear Fizz. That's fine. Having Nexus damage evolve teamed with control, would that be good in a way? Like Sedge and Elise? Um, there's pretty common decks that are like that. Well, Nexus, in terms of the Nexus damage decks, Tree redeemed a hydrate, by the way. I don't see why it wouldn't be a thing. That last deck I first doesn't use Elise, but it achieves a similar goal. It's pretty much a, a control deck that uses GP. Gangplank, by the way. And uh, we go for the 
one cost ally. And that deck pretty much just has the early game that revolves ways of kind of dealing damage to the Nexus as you would maybe in Elise, where you spread wide on the board, go aggressive, hit their face anyway. Did he not hit a fucking Zed or any minion to play? Sorry. He just, he just had nothing to play there. I guess I just open attack. But Elise, Sedge and Elise, I'm not too sure about that. There's some pretty effective cards for doing Nexus damage. You don't have to really rely on a heavy board state to get the job done. I have tons of elusive units to chump block his uh, solitary monk too, so it's going to be really helpful for us. We'll pilfered goods. Holy shit, I feel bad for this guy. Even a spirit refuge? That's fucking mental. Should I be floating mana now? No, I'm going to catch him so off guard with that. I'm going to fuck him up. I'm actually going to fuck his day. Ugh, health potion. What about standalone? Not much you can do about without board clear. No, I mean, he's not playing the right classes for board clearing. Bye. Bit of a cheated win there. He must have drew pretty poorly. GG, thank you. See if I can sneak my way back into Platinum 3, then I'll change decks. Make another straw poll. What was the other deck? Fuck, I forgot which other deck I had. I had four decks today. Uh, it's quite important that we find a one drop. We do have them. However, Rufus Raider is really good against Vile Feast and Withering Whale. I had a Fist Teamer deck, I had a Snapbind, I had a... Oh yeah. Got two choices there for what deck to play next. It's either going to be Fizz Teemo, which is the list I've been working on, and uh, Hecarim Zed, which I just threw together. So that's kind of like a testing in itself. Uh, yep. We got a 50-50 split down the middle. Refresh. I'll flip a coin on it. Wait, why didn't I play um Rufus Loader? Oh, he's on the open attack, that's why. That's fine. Let's get Fizz onto the field. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 50-50 split. So we'll just have to play all of them. Coin flip. I haven't seen a said deck ever. Well, there you go. You will now. So we could be sitting on a double vile feast withering whale. I can't stop the withering whale. I can play this so. We'll do one game of each and then I'll figure out whichever one to play more of afterwards. Double check the straw poll, see if anything's changed. We still sitting on a 50-50. <laughs> he just goes for the broad awakening. Sick. How much do I value make it rain right about now? I can catch him off guard if I allow him to swing first. Wait, that was my turn. Am I losing my mind? I am losing my mind.
smart man, not swinging with the hapless aristocrat. That landed like pretty bad. What I wanted was two spiders and face damage at least, or three spiders. Not the aristocrat, one spider, one face, but I get to plunder now, so I'll take that. I've also got another make it rain to get shit done. It's one buff on Sedge. I prioritize shared spoils over make it rain right now. I've got another fizz in hand. I have to pass here in case he plays Elise. Pass again. Okay. Yodel Grifter. Wow, we're actually insane. I mean, what am I doing here? I'm just dropping warning shot, I'm pretty sure. I need to give, um, Elusive to Fizz. And this can all swing. Sure. Gonna eat. So may as well go with the fist Timo. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. It's the three three elusive unit. Fuck are these trades, dude? Sure. We're doing well, gets a fair bit done. Wait, he's just playing spiders. What is this guy playing? Sure. A tribute to the spider god. Us? He wants to flip Elise here. Not sure if I should be worried. It's gonna salvage. Not bad discards. We'll swing with everything. He's obviously not playing a door. So what's this Noxin Thresh? That's cool, man. I can respect that. I'm just swinging with this. Uh, he could board buff, clear this somehow. But the three attacks probably gonna kill the unit that it hits.
Insane. Dude, these things are buffed as shit. I'll have a crack at this. I'll deny him card draw. Sure. Guess we're gonna plunder this turn. I'll play the biggest plunder. So he's just playing like an aggressive spiders deck with Thresh to like synergize with the sheer amount of tokens, I guess. But then wouldn't you just prefer just to run like Darius? I'm not one to talk. My deck builds tend to be quite funny. Just in case he has some funny cards, I should probably consider trying to end this game sooner than later. I shouldn't muck around too much. Guess I'll make it rain. Oh, it's over. Bit of a shame when I get to showcase more of the action. But surprisingly, that went pretty well with the Sejuani and Fizz. That deck's probably gonna need a bit of a tweak, but I should put you keeping track of our victories today. I think that was three and one.